The Indian Child Welfare Act of 1978, or ICWA, was passed to protect indigenous children from being stolen from their families into the child welfare system. And stolen isn't an exaggeration. In H.R. Report 1386 by Congressman Morris Udall, there is testimony from one Native woman saying, quote, I can remember the welfare worker coming and taking some of my cousins and friends. I didn't know why and I didn't question it. It was just done and it had always been done. Two studies cited from 1969 and 1974 found that around 25% to 35% of all indigenous children were forcibly taken from their families and put into foster homes. And two studies of indigenous reservations showed that only 1% of foster cases were because of physical abuse, end quote. The remaining 99% of the cases were argued on vague grounds. All the while, the parents were actually, quote, excellent caregivers. The only comparison the ICWA makes for natives in foster care is with natives in boarding schools. ICWA has four main purposes. One, to prevent Indian children from being unnecessarily taken into child welfare. Two, to keep the child connected with their family and tribe or to be placed into a home in another Indian tribe. Three, the affirmation of tribal sovereignty over ICWA cases rather than through state courts. And four, to provide resources that respect the native culture of the child and parents. To stop this, ICWA establishes protections for Indian child care in two scenarios. One, they are, quote, a member of an Indian tribe or two, quote, eligible for membership in an Indian tribe, that is, a biological child of a member of an Indian tribe. As such, ICWA protects Indian children based on citizenship to a tribe, not on racial grounds. But tribal sovereignty and children's lives are in danger. The U.S. Supreme Court is set to hear arguments in Holland v. Bracken, which can overturn ICWA. The two main claims are, one, that protecting indigenous children from forced adoption is somehow racial discrimination, and two, that only states should deal with child welfare, thus overturning Indian tribes' federal-level sovereignty over their own children and themselves. This represents a real attack to Native sovereignty and opens up Native children to a wave of forced separations that indigenous children faced pre-Indian Child Welfare Act. It's the job of everyone to protect ICWA, Indian peoples have been the victims of four separations beyond the U.S. too, such as the 60s scoop in Canada and mass indigenous adoptions from Latin America to the U.S. and Europe in the 1980s and 90s. Four separations across the continent is a main tactic of settler colonialism. Protecting ICWA is the current struggle against this hemispheric settler colonialism, and this fight matters so that indigenous families can grow healthy and beautifully together. Protect Equa.